on the 18th I told her that uh, I had the column ready it was in the system and th this being the editor <clears throat> and she told me that she had already laid out the next day's editorial page for the 19th and I thought fine because she sometimes does that she makes them out ahead of time and then on the 19th she said well this really should have run before the invasion and, you know, yeah <laughs> And I said I could adjust it to show that the invasion has already happened. She said, okay, make the adjustment and I'll look at it. And then it didn't run the 20th, didn't run the 21st, and it just didn't. She kept having reasons for not running it. And then finally on the 25th, after deadline, she came to me and said, it's not going to run. And she said, and these are her words, it's too extreme, too liberal, and it would just piss people off. And my argument was that that may be true, but there are people in the county who think as I do about this situation and they deserve to have their voices heard. And I also said this is a time when we need as much discussion on the issue as possible, not less discussion. And she was unmoved by that. <clears throat> and she also said that any columns that I sent to her in the future, she would take a look at and decide if they would go in or not, And which to me was an indication that, that my columns are going to be scrutinized in a way they hadn't been before. Either that or I was unaware that she may have been scrutinizing them that way because all the columns she ran immediately and without comment. So that kind of puzzled me. And I decided that if it wasn't going to run, I didn't want to be part of an organization that wouldn't allow um, people, uh, employees, to express their opinion. And I thought that was especially wrong when that organization was a news organization because news organizations to me are supposed to be about finding the truth and supporting the First Amendment, uh, freedom of expression, it, it, especially when that expression may be a minority expression.